fellow speakers, a lot of the world is about pretense. And you find from time to time that there is a wolf around in sheep's clothing. Sometimes there's a sheep in wolf's clothing. And telling the difference is an art. When was the last time you think that you came across a wolf in sheep's clothing? Mm -hmm. Someone perhaps who seemed to be on your side doing the right thing for you while their motives were entirely different. I'm not talking about Donald Trump here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with the man. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why there's nothing wrong with him is that he is a wolf in wolf's clothing. Mm. You see the man, you listen to the man, you know what he's up to. He's barking mad. <laughs> <laughs> but a wolf in sheep's clothing you will all come across from time to time. And when is the time that it happens to you? The time is when you go to buy a new car. <laughs> and the person, male or female, mostly male. I don't know why, but mostly male. Who will look at you as you walk in the door and size up not what can be done for you to get you the best car that you can have for your needs. But how much money can he extract from you? <laughs> and how does he do it? By being a wolf in sheep's clothing. Because a sheep is a gentle creature and he, sorry it has to be sexist because I've never come across a female, I'm sure there are, I'm sure there are female salespeople in cars. But the men are much better at being wolves in sheep's clothing, aren't they? It's our, it's our nature. And no one does it better than the car salesman, who will entice you in with stories of how this car is the best car and it's going up in price. <laughs> <laughs> And if you buy it now, you can have a special finance deal. And that finance deal will be the best finance deal you ever knew. Until you go home afterwards and sit down and work it out. And discover that you're paying a huge amount of interest. But when he sold you the car, well, he will revert to being a wolf. Watch the teeth smile as you go out the door.